So after like a week of interacting with the new iOS 18 beta, then I can see these are the cool features that are let's talk about that you will see in the coming iOS 18. So the iOS 18 comes to most of the devices starting from iPhone XR, iPhone 11, 12 and iPhone 13, 14 and 15. However, iPhone 15 series seems to have the best features, which include the feature to control the touch light. So if you turn on your iPhone touch light like this on iPhone 15, then you have feature to switch or configure the iOS 18 touch light. So that is not what we're going to talk about here because that's one of the most discussed feature of the new iOS 18. So here, I'm going to bring your mind to some of the features that only a few talked about on your iPhone. So some of us have wanted to turn off our iPhone without using the side button and nobody is talking about this particular feature on iOS 18. And another cool feature is the bezel feature that comes on on the new iOS 18, but you discover that a lot of people are not talking about this. All they talk about most on iOS 18 is about the redesign of the control center, this. However, in this video, I'm just going to state some of the cool features of the new iOS 18 that almost all the top guns in the industry are neglecting. So if I did all this video, you found this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. First is the Bezel feature. So literally, when you want to increase your iPhone volume, all you just need to do is press and hold, is press the volume button here to increase the volume or do it like this. However, there is a new Bezel feature on the new iOS 18 that no one is talking about. If you press the volume hold button, you should notice a feature here coming up. Then let's try it. Just focus here. Can you see the Bezel feature while the volume is increasing? Or when I try to decrease the volume, you should see the Bezel feature comes up again. So no one is actually talking about this. And I believe this is a cool feature. This tells you that once you press the volume up button, the volume up button is working. So you can easily tell whether your iPhone volume button is working or not. So this cool feature worth talking about on the new iOS 18. Another feature we take note on the new iOS 18 that nobody is talking about is how Apple designed the hub section of the iPhone. When you go to your iPhone settings and you scroll down literally on iOS 17, 17.5 or 17.6 better than new release, you discover that all the applications are shown on the settings page. Now, the new iOS 18 brings in the feature to organize all apps on your iPhone. So if you scroll down from settings down to the bottom, you no longer have direct access to your iPhone application. To have access to all the applications you installed on your iPhone now, you now need to click on apps. It is then you have access to all the applications you have on your iPhone and all these applications are arranged based on alphabet. So they are all in alphabetical order. It also makes it easy for you to switch between applications on your iPhone or search apps on your iPhone. So that's another cool feature no one is talking about on the new iOS 18. Then if you've been logging for a feature to help you turn off your iPhone without using the power button, then I think I saw this feature on Samsung device. So my Samsung device has this cool feature where if I want to turn off my Samsung phone, all I just need to do is swipe down the Samsung phone screen like this and then come here and click on the power button. You see that? And this is going to prompt me to turn on my Samsung device. However, this new feature is now included on our 18. So this is it. Just swipe down the top right like this. Then you should see the power button at the top right. If you go ahead and click on that, then you'll be able to start to turn off your iPhone. So probably no one is talking about this on the new iOS 18 and it's one of the coolest features on iOS 18 that makes it easier for you to use your iPhone. Now, another thing I discover about the new iOS 18 is the ability to switch between the lock screen toggle on your iPhone like this. You have your iPhone screen locked. In the iOS 17, you cannot remove the touch light and the camera icon on the lock screen like this. But the new iOS 18 allows you to remove and even change the lock screen toggle on your device. Then let's confirm this. All you just need to do is come to your iPhone lock screen. On the lock screen, press on hood like this. Then click on customize. Select lock screen. Then there you go. You see, I can just choose to remove the touch light and the camera icon like this. Then click on the done button. Then select it. There you go. So 
Whenever I lock my iPhone screen, all my first screen is locked, you see, there's no any toggle on iPhone on the new iOS 18. So people are not talking much about this, and I think this is a cool feature. It allows you to configure or customize your iPhone based on your preference. And at the same time, you can also change the screen toggle by clicking on the plus icon and then set other application other than setting touch lights on camera as your iPhone screen toggle. So you can set in maybe your cellular data. Then at the same time, let's go ahead and set in personal hotspot. So once you do that, just click on the double button at the top right. So even while your iPhone screen is locked, just like this, you can turn on personal data like this and then you can turn it off. On the lock screen again, you can turn on hotspot and you can turn it off. So this is one of the coolest features I think our S18 introduces that gives you control over what you have displayed on your iPhone screen. So we'll just go back again, restore back to default like this, then click on done. So another thing I discover on the new iOS 18 is actually the music haptics, but I believe this is still lagging in this sense. The reason why I said this is still lagging is this. The music haptics should be able to work with all music player on iPhone on iOS 18, but the haptics only work with music playing application. How do you find out this? If you go to your iPhone settings, then on the settings page, all you want to do on certain pages is just scroll down and click on accessibility. Then under accessibility, you want to scroll down. Then you should see the music haptics. Now under available apps, you can only see that you only have the Apple Music that support music haptics. And on my device, I have the VLC. Then I think VLC should come up under the application that support the music haptics on the new iOS 18. So I think this should be worked on. So other music player on your iPhone should have access to this feature. Then another cool thing that nobody is actually talking about on iPhone is about the extended voice isolation on iPhone that you can use to control or manage the music player or media player on your iPhone. So this you can find this under settings. Then come to accessibility. Under accessibility, you just want to scroll down, select audio and visual. Now, once you selected, I you see extended voice isolation. So, no one is actually talking about this on the new iOS 18. And I believe this is a very cool feature that you can use to control and manage your iPhone isolation settings during any video playback. Another cool feature that I believe it is talked less about on the iOS 18 feature is the RCS feature you have access to on iPhone. So, all your friends and family no longer need to use FaceTime or high message before you can communicate with them freely using the RCS on your iPhone. So this is a cool feature on 100 and iPhone or Apple has decided to bring this on your iPhone. And one thing I must mention before you go, when you're using the iOS 18 is that the iOS 18 has a cool feature here that allows you to hide your app name or even change the app color and modify it or customize your iPhone home screen. To do this, all you just need to do is press and hold the home screen just like this. Then click on the edit button at the top left. There you go. Then you can hide with it and click on customize. So once you click on the customize button, you have options here to automate your iPhone screen to choose dark mode, light mode, or even tinted mode. You see that? Now you can now come back here to automate the tinted mode. Even while the tinted mode is enabled, you can use dark mode and light mode or the tinted mode. Now to hide this application name on your iPhone, all you need to do is click on large. This is going to make the app bigger on your iPhone, but this is going to remove the app name. See that? So these are some of the cool features of the iOS 18 that are less discussed in the platform. So if you found out that this is awful and educative, please don't forget to like and subscribe.